All right, so here we have some data that was captured with the hover map mounted on a vehicle and driven through this um, center of a, of a city, essentially. Uh, and as you can see, it's been classified using TBC's deep learning algorithm. And where this ground changes from a brown color to a blue color is where I have segregated a smaller area, which I've called ground area one, uh, just to make the data a little bit more manageable. Um, I extract these data sets and complete a quick surface that I'm going to do. So what I want to do first is extract some of this curve and channel information and I'm going to use that using the line feature extraction uh, under the point clouds ribbon. So this will work on overhead lines, curb and gutter and also lane line markings. What we have to do for curb and gutter is first we need to create a cross section of this gutter so we can decide what points we want to look for um, of this curb and, curb and gutter information. So now I select the nodes that I want it to look for so let's say I want a point down here, point here, here at the top as well, and we'll have one back here. And so this is going to automatically extract uh, a point or a point at each node um, every meter with 90% confidence. And if it's less confident than that, it will stop and want my input. So I click on extract and let it do its thing. This will keep going until the profile of the curve starts to change and it struggles to find those points. So here you see uh, the nodes that I first drew are kind of, the, the curve is now not as high as it was. So what I can do is click on apply auto template still got a pretty good profile there and then I can continue. It seems like this curb is getting smaller and smaller. Go template again. Okay, let's finish that. And so that's got those lines and I'm gonna click on create lines. So now what I wanna do is uh, I wanna create a surface and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I use these lines to create the surface on one side of the road and on the other side of the road, I will just leave the data as it is. So another thing that I wanna do is uh, I want to filter some of these points out because I don't want to use the points and the lines in the same location. So I'll get rid of this and click on filter point cloud and I'm going to filter it by CAD alignment and the line that I want to use is this one. The points that I want to filter is this point cloud here and I'm going to filter by distance from the CAD line uh, and I'm just going to say we want to do left and right 20 centimeters. So I'll click on compute So that has filtered those points nearby. And so those points that are within 200 millimeters of the line that I selected are put into a different layer. So if I want, I can just turn that layer off. So now I can create a surface. I'm going to 
to call it new surface, uh, the points and lines that we want to use for this will be the green point cloud. I'm also holding down control and I'm going to select the top and bottom of the curve. So I've selected them, I'm going to click on OK and it's going to create a surface. Could have also included the top and bottom as well. Uh, the offset lines either side. So here we get a look at uh, what the curve looks like with the lines that we've used. So you end up with a very crisp and clean curve and channel line. On the other side of this road uh, you get an idea of what it looks like when you just use the point cloud. Um, it's just much more difficult for the software to create a, a nice clean triangulation uh, without having those clean cut lines. So we can also create a, a contours from this as well. Let's create them at 0.1 meter just to make it reasonably well pronounced. Uh, just say 300 meters. Alright, so here are the contours on the side that we have used the lines to create the curve. On the side, you can see it's kind of not as pretty. Um, if we turn that off, that's what the, the side that looks, the side without the, um, the lines, and then over here we have the side where we extracted the top and bottom of the curb, we end up with a much cleaner contour output as well.